Hello, YouTube <laughs> viewers. We're in Floyd, Virginia, over at Floyd Our County, Virginia. Floyd County, Virginia. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yep. That's and Ike. Uh, I'm yep. John. That's Taylor. This is Taylor's girlfriend, Shannon. We are here because uh, we might be picking up a go-kart. Anyway, Taylor might be picking up a go-kart. Um, and it's apparently hanging from the ceiling in there. You said it's been hanging up there since the mid-90s. There it is. That is awesome. That is so cool. I don't know. That thing is sweet. Isn't it? And that's an asphalt. Yeah. She's low. You lay down on that one. Jeez. Yes. Huh. Oh, man, that thing is awesome. I've never seen one like that. I love it. But it's got a... It's got well, hydraulic got brakes on it. This, do you? This is very vintage. Yeah, it is. It yeah, I think this is older than any of the ones we got. No. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Huh. So, wait, is there a seat on it? Or, like, is Dude, it... I I've never seen on. I've never seen a fuel tank outboard before. That is a guard plus a fuel tank. Mm -hmm. That's probably why they don't have fuel tanks outboard anymore. Here's a wheel. What? I found a wheel. You can tell that's an old tire. Look at the look at the uh, the font. <laughs> Burris. Sweet. No, that's a rear. That's a Douglas wheel. Yeah. These are just a little more modern wheel. Right, right. There are snakes in here, probably. Sweet. It'll be fine. I'm just as scared of them as they are of me. Ain't no poison snakes in here. Oh, they're hitting? Hey, you know the you know what the dry rotted tires are good for though? Drifting. That's right. That's a is that a four inch? Bridgestone. Big Bridgestone. Is that a is that a, a five inch? inch? Okay, five inch. All the stuff we have is six inch. Rear or front? Nice. Directional. Cool. They are actually directional tires. Way back then, that, that's uh. Is that a go-kart helmet in that box? Hold up. Oh, right there? Oh, that's a cool helmet. Oh, helmet. that's a sweet helmet. <laughs> oh, that thing is awesome. Got a mouse, tra uh, mouse nest in it. <laughs> that is sweet. I wonder who, who wore it last. Jeez, you did. <laughs> See, I got protection right here. Yeah. yeah. That is sweet. That is that is a cool helmet. I like that helmet. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm all about vintage. I love me some vintage stuff. <clears throat> oh, there's some rims up there. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. Oop. Man, we're excited. <laughs> I can <couldn't> tell. <laughs> I haven't seen Ike smile like that before. <laughs> Ike is like a kid in a candy shop right now. Oh, yeah. I'm like a sprinkler. <laughs> I think the, it's a cool place. Where's the enthusiasm, man? The enthusiasm. Was oh, my when I got gosh. This morning. My enthusiasm's like. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> That's cool. That is awesome. So they used to I'm race those. We had snowmobiles at one time. Mm -hmm. run. That's awesome. I guess during the winter time, yeah, of course. Yeah. Does it get that snowy here to use snowmobiles? At times, times it does. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna go look at some old cars. Uh, we're gonna come get this stuff later, but apparently there's some old cars at a different property. There's an old Jeep in particular that Ike was kind of looking at uh, maybe purchasing. So we're riding in the back of a truck. Yeah, uh, gonna go check out some old cars. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Got some bullet holes in it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, dude, look at that. What is this? Oh, sweet, that's a 53? 54. 53 or 54 Chevy. So apparently this used to be an oval go-kart track, uh, as you can tell. It's been a couple of years since it was uh, kind of operational. But, yeah. It would be awesome to bring it back. But, yeah, this is like five hours from where Ike lives, and this is three hours from my school, so not exactly practical. Doggy! Oh, look at that old truck. Oh, yeah. GMC. This is 60s. That's like a 64 to 66. Oh, branches. Oh, this is so cool. This is awesome. 
Oh, trees. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Keep it up, buddy. Oh, man, cows. Move. Oh. Oh, he's putting her back in four wheel drive or something. Move. Ah! <coughs> I'll make sure they don't get out. Yeah, Ike is a cow whisperer. Yeah, I'll handle the gate. <laughs> oh, oh, he's like staring at us and pooping. <laughs> oh, the loner cow. Dude, what are you doing, man? I didn't even see him. He was all blended in. He's got his camo on. What's up, man? What's up, girl? You heifer? Oh, that's oh, cool. Oh, sweet. Oh, sh old shoebox Ford. That might have a flathead in it. Oh, check out the fan. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Ike is losing it. What year is that van, man? It's like a 63 or something. Check that's out this awesome van. Ford van. And it's, it's, it's got some rust in it, but it's pretty complete in it. Econo Line 300. That thing is wicked awesome. But now, let's see what we got around here. The old Ford truck bed, 70s or early 70s, late 60s. Oh, snap. But it's another four door. Yeah, they're all four doors. They're all four doors? Yeah. Well, it's still cool. There's the Jeep that I was inquiring about. A Jeep 170. FC 170. FC 170. It even says it on there. Forward FC 170 control Jeep four wheel drive. Look how far down in the dirt. In front She's a... <laughs> She's kind of down there. Drive shaft is out of it. And to tell you the truth, I'm wondering if the engine's out of it. I think it is. The engine is out of it. When I found out later yep. is that he bought this from a part. He, so where's the other one? He sold it. Oh. Yep. <clears throat> oh yeah. This thing, you can see daylight through the bed. I, I like it. It's but is gone. is too far gone for old Isaac here, wow. which is a shame. Check out the school bus. It's a Dodge. It's a Dodge school bus. He used to drive it. He used to drive it. Yep. Saying goodbye to all the cool stuff. Well, it's okay because we're going to look at more go kart stuff. Yeah, we're going to go look at more go kart stuff. And that cow is still just hanging out there. Hey, y'all dare me to go touch the cow. <laughs> Let's go cow tipping. Y'all dare me to touch the cow. Do you want to go touch the cow? <laughs> me and my big mouth. What's up, Bessie? What's up, Bessie? What do y'all think she's going to do? Probably just look at you. I think she's going to move. Uh, hey, Taylor. I don't want to. That's why you don't get in behind. And I like these trees because it gives a uh, place to hide. hide. What's up, Bessie? Oh, look, she's licking herself. Move. Hey, girl. You don't have mad cow disease or anything, do you? <laughs> What's up, Bessie? Come here, girl. What's up, girl? Don't worry, I'm not going to fondle your udders or anything. Let me get some of them flies off of you. Let me get some of them flies off of you. Come here, Bessie. Bessie's not having it. Hey, man, this is thorn, this is thorn Bessie. So you need to watch out. Bessie. Come here, Bessie. Come on, girl. She's not having it. She is not having it. Bessie. All right. Bessie ain't having it. 
Holy cow, look at the size of that one. That's a big freaking cow. That thing is huge. That's gonna be at uh, Texas Roadhouse. I wanna go touch it. It'll be fine. We are riding down the road on the way to uh, a different go-kart property. So, in back of the truck, it'll be fine. We're going kind of fast. It'll be fine. We're only doing 45. Oh my gosh. We're about to pull in the driveway. What kind of cool stuff are we gonna find now? So we made it to the other location. John is getting out, having a little bit of trouble. Maybe you ought to think about Jenny Craig. Oh man, they had a four wheeler. Dude, a four wheeler would be awesome on that trail we were just on. How does oh, the dude, work? look at those go karts. Does it have underground lab? Go karts. I gotta do something like that. That is awesome. Dude. That one's got an engine on it. Whoa! Dude. That, they're vintage too. Yeah. Although, a little bit. That one definitely looks more modern. The first year. And then uh, run that one down hey. Mount Airy. How are you staying on good? How are you? How much How is that you? one? Hello. That's that one's mine. They're all $100 a piece if you want to. I think we're going to have to, Ike. Man. Oh, a nice one. Yeah, the red one. I mean, even this one at a hundred bucks is a deal. Don't say it too loud. I you mean, mine. <laughs> I mean, you know, people on Craigslist, they're crazy. No, I picked that one right. Yeah, I know you picked that one. It's okay, because mine's still better. <laughs> you already bought it, man. Uh, now, be careful. There might be spiders a nest inside of Oh, dear. <sighs> oh, man, there are the... Uh, yeah. This is awesome. Yep, there's a lot of nuts in there. Oh, yeah, there is. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I, th I don't think there's anything in it. Though. Yeah, no. Jeez, dude, this is awesome. So, Ike, uh, mine might have to stay at your house. That's fine. <laughs> but, yeah, you got, the, you got the nicer one there. Um, it's kind of got poop all over it. Definitely got poop. I was at the seat is what really turned me on. Oh, really? What kind of engine is that? It's a Briggs five horse. Oh, wow. Um, if it runs, right, right away. Yeah, I agree. This one, this one will get the Predator on it with a torque converter. I think we found the engine for the Rat Rod Wagon. That there Briggs. Yep. Ask and you shall receive, people. I shouldn't tell you that because then they're going to start asking for everything else. But it's a lot of uh, bird crap. Yeah. You know, this is a perfect example of how people can just go out and find go karts. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one would have ever figured that it was underneath a shelter in a barn behind a house, visible from a road. Yeah. You know, put the word out, which. Is that how this happened? Mm, well, I didn't know about these well, until it, today. It all started with, with the cart that you're buying. Mm -hmm. The one that I walked and I saw it hanging from the ceiling. So for all you people who continue to say you can't find a go-kart for X amount of money, we just found three for $100 a piece. And all we did was kind of put the word out. And, uh, you know, my friend Taylor, his girlfriend, uh, her uncle, actually has these. So... Bam, that's awesome. And he wants $100 a piece for him, uh, which uh, I think is a pretty good deal. If this were on Craigslist, someone would be like, oh yeah, 800 bucks. But I mean, there's no way it's actually worth $800. I think $100 is a good, fair deal. No engine. It's got wheels in the seat there. So it should be these two wheels that are missing. And then Ike just bought that one for a hundred bucks. I mean, that one's got a motor on it. Granted, it also has a bunch of bird crap on it, but it'll be fine, you can wash that off. We are back at this garage here, and we are going to harvest this go-kart from the uh, ceiling. We're gonna bring her down after a, what, a 20-year slumber. Dude, I think I'm gonna get an Evil Knievel costume for our, our race. For our race? <laughs> yeah. Um, there's How? got to be 
some spiders I, I come in there. along around yeah. here somewhere. Oh. Come along. Uh, you know what we could do? There's gonna be there's gonna be some ropes or something around, so we can actually throw a rope over the rafter. Uh -huh. That is a rafter, awesome rafter, man. That thing <laughs> man, that rafter is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! Anyhow, uh, we can throw a rope over and we can kind of lower it with a rope. I hear you. Uh, come along would be nice, and there might be a come along around here in this beautiful, beautiful shop. All right, Ike, how are we getting that bad boy down? Well, we're either going to lower it down gently with this rope or we're going to drop it rapidly. There's the seat. You lay down on that bad boy. That, man, you're, you can fall asleep in this thing. It's laid back so far. Taylor, you should put like a cup holder in it. <laughs> you got that rope, so kind of just gently let it go Sorry. and see what happens. Nothing. I think it's caught up. Oh, yeah, go ahead and tug on that. Oh, boy. Yeah, she's going to come all the way on that. Um, you might want to get that <laughs> spring on there and kind of toss it over oh, whichever yeah. rafter it's going over. Well, that, that's going to be hard, though. You should be able to just tug on uh, that there. Oh, yeah, here she comes. Oh, golly. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Oh gosh. Slowly let her down too. Oh look at the fuel caps. Yeah. Oh. Uh, look at the bird's nest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and unwrap it from your hand. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> you. John was pulling the thing around my hand. This thing is so awesome. Jeez, look at that. That is so cool. Huff racing. Man, that is a cool bird. <laughs> it had a rebel flag sticker on it. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's so cool. You have to figure out how to make that functional again. Yeah. I don't think that's legal. It'll be fine. I mean, is anything we do in our backyard legal? No. Dude. I like the headrest. Dude. I do, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> you should put like a seat heater in if it, it. If it was cleaner, I'd be laying down on it right now. Dude, you can put like your drink holder right there. Maybe like a flat screen, like that a little. frame is actually longer than. Yeah, it's a big old frame. That bird's nest is cool. Yeah, it's actually very neat. We have to fit three go karts into the back of that S10. That's gonna be interesting. We got it. As you can see, this is a big old go kart. Granted, the S10 is not a very large pickup truck. Still, this go-kart is large and in charge and fits kind of nicely in there. Meant to be. That is perfect. All right, man, how are we doing this? It's going to be interesting. Should yours... It what? wouldn't be so bad if the tire wasn't there. I was, what I was planning on doing was running the two go-karts side by side. Yeah. Hey, man, that looked exactly like the tire on the first car. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's amazing what some tire slime can do to some old go-kart tires. All right, so we got all the go-karts uh, loaded up. As you can see, it's a little sketchy, but uh, it'll be fine. We got some toe straps. This is a heavenly view. Sorry they're all piled on top of each other, but we're how many hours away from home? Five and a half. And uh, we're not gonna make two trips on this. We're no, three. yeah, no. We're doing this in one. So what do you think of uh, our go-karts, man? Uh, I think we did good. We hit the jackpot. Yeah, man. Three go-karts, $300. Not a bad deal. None of them run. Every single one of them needs at least an engine. But, uh, I mean, that's just part of it. That's that's part of the fun is building it. Yeah. So, and kind of bringing it back. I post a couple photos to Instagram of them, and people are like, good luck with that. But uh, you'd be surprised on how well some of these polish up. 
The other food carts that we had were in worse shape than those. That's right. Taylor's is the coolest because it's got the lay down seat. Ike's is the most complete because it has four wheels on it and it has an engine. The engine's stuck. And uh, mine is just kind of the other one that's the underdog, but it's going to come out of left field and destroy everybody when I build it to go really, really fast. We're back at Taylor's apartment complex. None of the go-karts fell out, so that's good. Um, so yeah, today is Sunday and Ike and Taylor uh, took the go-karts to the car wash and actually pressure washed them. And they look a lot better. Yeah, no kidding. Holy cow. Especially this one. This we're, one was bad. We're curious to see what the one on with my part is going to look like because all the bird poop, poop. and <laughs> uh, stuff was falling down onto it. So your go-kart is now covered in bird poop. No, well, doesn't look that bad. No, it doesn't look that bad. wonder what all that electrical tape is for. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> Uh, yeah. So the kid who rode my go-kart last was eight years old and he was pretty young. Um, and I'm guessing they had to bolt in this big old slab of metal to make uh, the whole cart heavy enough for him to qualify for whatever class he was in. That's, that's just my guess. I don't know why else they would weld in a giant plate right there. But uh, yeah, this cart is heavy and it doesn't even have an engine on it. My hub? is in there oh really yeah so i'm not missing a hub each one of those tires has a hub i think one, this one goes to taylor's and this one goes to yours okay that's awesome well wait a minute but then no i think both of these goes to mine i don't know i don't know we'll figure it out it'll be fine i didn't know you were missing two yeah no because both of these have front hubs on them oh front hubs yes okay well i guess we can figure out whenever we take it out using glass cleaner to clean the seat of this go-kart. Bam. Go-kart, barn find, jackpot. They all need some work. They were uh, last ridden by an eight-year-old, so the pedals have been adapted for an eight-year-old. Uh, those two, not this one. Yeah. Mine is gonna be especially interesting to fix. Not sure what is going on there, even. But mine's also got a cowl on it. <laughs> the seat is a little on the skinny side, and it's a little loose. So I'll have to do something about that. Also need an engine mounting plate and an engine. But, uh, that's not going to be a problem. I'm glad we have all the wheels. Ike's is in the best shape, I think. His has an engine. It's stuck, but he has an engine. Got a sweet seat. Oh, that's really soft. Taylor's is the most interesting, definitely. His is the oldest, and you actually lay down in it. This is, oh man. You're way too far back. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> that is so cool, though. And actually, this fits right, right there. I feel like I'm on a spaceship. <laughs> you got the external gas tanks here, just ready to blow up and incinerate you. Man, I really like that. That's this is like... kind of bad, though, because you get tired. It's pretty just comfortable. take a nap. Yeah. Yeah, I might, fall asleep I might put this in front of the TV in the living room. <laughs> I mean, it's got some issues, though. For example, the engine is, like, right next to your head. We might do a build-off with uh, these here go-karts. We're not sure. So let us know what you want to see us do with these go-karts. Uh, like I said, a build-off would be pretty cool, and then have a, a race, maybe a 2.4 hour of a Le Mans race in our backyard or something. But I don't know, let us know what you want to see realistically because not every one of these go-karts can get a 600cc Kawasaki engine. None of these go-karts would be able to get a 420cc uh, engine without 
really, really hacking up the frames. Uh, as you can see, that's about the size of a Predator 212, and uh, the seat has been kind of torn up already by the clutch. So a 420 is definitely not going to fit. I will kick John and Taylor's butt in the build off if we have one. It's gonna be interesting. Can you speak up? It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, that's not even your mean face. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video, this uh, go-kart barn find. Three for $300. Not a bad deal. They all need work. None of these are ready to start. But, I mean, for probably another 100 or $200, we can all have pretty nice go-karts. Nice vintage go-karts. So, yeah, thank you for watching. We have been posting photos on Instagram of these as we found them. Uh, so, if you want uh, to see updates right as they happen, uh, check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Cars and Cameras Reviews. So thank you for watching everybody. We've got a lot of things to do left on the Rat Rod Wagon, and now some things to do for our new fleet of go-karts. So thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Are you in it? I think You're so. on top of it. <laughs> I mean, no, like I'm technically like, now you know how I feel when I try to get you. Squeezes your fat. It's squeezing. It was squeezing oh. my ribs. Yeah, my ribs too. You? you know, if it's a little tight, we can get Taylor in on it. Oh, and no, he could like. He can true. help spread it out.